Hey, it's Dean and Maddie bringing you part three in our Bikini Body Leg series that takes you from the basics all the way to the most advanced moves to give you the most effective exercises for nice, long, sculpted, toned legs. So our first exercise is a modification that we built on from the first two videos in my leg series, which was our forward fold and leg raise. We're gonna go ahead and turn to the side. And you remember doing that forward fold and then raising using your back. And then we also did a knee variation. So this is going to be a variation called the good mornings. So we're going to hinge slightly at the waist, keep a slight bend in your knees. And this is a hamstring workout. So you're gonna put your arms up in a goal post to make sure that you're using your core and your legs. And hinge forward, keeping it back flat. And exhale, squeeze your glutes on the way up. And inhale back down. And you don't have to go all the way to a 90 degree angle, whatever angle that you can go to that keeps your back flat. And then up, squeeze your glutes on the way up. Inhale down. Exhale up. You should feel a, you should feel this in your hamstrings on the way down. It should feel tight. Basically, I like to describe hamstrings as like a rubber band and utilizing those hamstrings as they're stretched out. Whenever you come up, that's strengthening your hamstrings, using your quads, using your core, and using your glutes at the same time. This is a nice multifunctional exercise. You don't have to do a huge range of motion just to get a good effect. One more, exhale on the way up and squeeze your glutes to get the most from this exercise. Inhale, exhale. You don't have to use a huge range of motion to get an effective workout with this exercise. One more, inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. And now we're gonna do our stretch to release that lower back. So keeping your legs and the knees in a nice little bend, hinge forward at the waist and reach your arms all the way down to the ground. And you really wanna bend your knees and then stretch out your right leg and straighten your left leg to give yourself a nice little hamstring stretch. So just bend your left leg and bend your right leg and keep moving so that way you keep those muscles warm and then roll up slowly from the bottom of your spine and shoulders back and down. And now we're gonna do another set of our good mornings. So making sure I do this barefoot, you can do this with shoes on. I like to feel the actual floor and feel my toes gripping. So I feel like that strengthens my feet. Um, keeping your, your knees slightly bent, hinge forward at the waist and arms up in a goal post. Hinge slowly, inhale on the way down, exhale and squeeze your butt on the way up. Keep these movements nice, slow and controlled. A lot of times, if you sit for long periods of time, your hamstrings are going to be really tight and this might feel pretty extreme. You might really know what I'm talking about. Give me a like and a thumbs up if you're feeling this exercise. But this is also really good for people that drive a lot and sit a lot because it helps strengthen your hamstrings and your lower back, which if you're doing all those things and sitting a lot, then you might have some lower back pain that this can help with. Inhale, and then exhale on the way up. You guys like my manicure? I know, I try to keep showing it off to the camera. Uh, I prefer like the fringe tips over the colors, so never gonna see me with black nails. So hinging over at the waist, Take it down to a forward fold. Take your hands all the way to the ground. Bend your knees as much as you need to in order to touch the ground. And then slowly start to straighten your right and your left legs and bend your knees, just kind of walking it out. And really getting a nice stretch. And you should feel this all the way up your hamstring to where your hamstring and your glutes attach. Yes, at the bottom of your butt. Yes, basically. And then slowly roll up to standing. So when I was training for my bikini competition last June, this is the one exercise that I did 
pretty much twice a week in order to build up my legs and glutes and things that are really important for those competitions. Squat. So I want your hips to be a little bit wider than hip width apart, and you're gonna angle your feet out like we've talked about in the first two videos. We've really broken down the squat and where to feel the movement. So if you have any questions on that, go back to my first two leg videos. So I really want you to focus on bringing the hips back and just only going to a point that's comfortable for you that you feel like your, like your belly is tucked in and you actually feel strong and stable. So don't go lower than you have to. You're still gonna activate the right kind of muscles when you, when you come up if you do it correctly. If you can go for that whole range of motion and you can get a proper squat dropping below parallel, then do that. But if not, just stick with me midpoint right here. Well, we're gonna take it a little bit slower this time. So on the way down, I actually want you to go on the count of three. So we're gonna do the squat like this. One, two, three, and then come up and squeeze the butt. So it's slow on the way down, two, three, and make sure that your knees are pointing out and squeeze up. So we always talk about knees going over the toes. That's a little bit more natural. This is what we do not want, knees going in. We want our knees tracking along the size of our toes. So the way our toes and the angle our toes are going is where we want our knees to go. That's a natural movement. That's something that, that's naturally done in our body. So slow on the count of three, three, and then up. This is not natural, okay? That's gonna hurt you. This is gonna make you stronger and make your knees stronger and take away some of that lower back and knee pain. One, two, three, squeeze up. And really think about hinging back. The worst thing that could happen is you just take a step back. Two, three, up and squeeze, down and back, two, three, squeeze that butt, really activate those glute muscles on the way up, three, make sure your knees are pointing out, your knees on the way up and on the way back down. Always push your knees out, two, three, and up. And we're gonna do a nice little quad stretch. So take your opposite ankle, so right hand, left ankle, make sure that the knee is pointing down. Don't point the knee out, that's gonna cause strain. And just give yourself a nice little quad stretch. If you need to use the wall or a chair, go ahead and grab it. Or if you wanna work on balance, try to, try to do it with, with no hands. And switch legs. So taking right ankle with the left hand and making sure you point your knee down towards the ground and keep your knees in close together. That'll prevent any sort of knee strain. Make sure to keep a soft bend in that standing leg so don't ever lock your knees. And slowly release. Don't fling your body around. And back to those squats again. So down for a count of three. Think about hinging and reaching back with your hips. Two, three, almost like I could just be able to slip a little like piece of paper, come up underneath your feet. That's how, that's how you want your heels, weight to be in your heels so you're almost able to slide a little piece of paper underneath your balls of your feet. Almost. And then up, slowly down for three, two, one. Push the knees out on the way up and squeeze the butt. Three, two, one. Squeeze the butt. Three, two, one. And give me one more right here. You guys are doing great. Thanks so much for following along. Y'all are really strong. And squeeze. And we're gonna go back to that quad stretch. So take your right hand, grab your left ankle, and Reach tall, bring the shoulders back, make sure you didn't collapse your posture. We've been talking about posture consistently throughout this whole series. If you're ever wondering what type of workouts to do and when to do them and how often to do them, I've created a little workout calendar. The full body workout, it'll tell you when to do the legs, when to do the cardio, 
You want to do some core. You want to do legs about once or twice a week. And I have a nice little, in the description of this video, I have a little link for a calendar that shows you what to do and when. And then relax. Our next movement is going to build upon our calf raises that we've been doing. But we're just going to do them with one leg. So you can either do regular calf raises if that's okay for you, or bend your left knee and make sure that your right knee is soft. You have a little slight, slight bend in that knee. Don't lock that leg. And then just raise up and down. And we're going to try to stay balanced. If you need a chair or a wall, that's fine. But it's a good little exercise to do to build that single leg balance stuff, which is really important. One more on this leg and then switch. This is an exercise you can do not only right now while you're watching this video, but also if you're like brushing your teeth, you can do simple things like this while you're brushing your teeth. And come on, everybody brushes their teeth for at least a minute, right? So you can get a good 20 calf raises in every day. No excuses. One more and then put your feet down. So our next little stretch is a good ankle mobility stretch, especially for runners, people that are about to go out for a nice run. It's a good way to, to wake up your ankles so that way they're, uh, they're ready and mobile for your, your run. So take say all your weight on your left leg and then just take your right leg and point your toe and on the top of that foot put a little bit of weight so that you're actually lengthening this part along the front of your of your shin and the front of your foot and then we're just going to rock back and put a little flip your foot over and then put your heel down and bend your back knee so that way you get a nice little stretch in the calf and then rock back over to the top of your foot stretch out the top of that foot this feels really good if you really don't do this very often it's good for ankle mobility which is good for squats if you um, are walking around a lot this is good uh, stretch for your your shins as well helps prevent shin splints and stuff like that and just kind of keep this nice slow and controlled don't do anything that hurts too much Weight on your back foot, bend the back knee, and then come up. And we're gonna switch legs. So put your weight on your right foot, take the left foot slightly back behind you, bend that standing knee so you get a little bit of weight and a little stretching out of the top of that foot. And then back, heel down, and slightly bent back knee. It will help for that calf stretch. And just kind of rock back and forth like this a few times. This is a really nice workout. I always do this exercise before I run to help dynamic stretches, to help with ankle mobility and making sure I don't just start running cold. One more time, rock back on that heel and get a nice little bend in the knee for a heel uh, calf stretch. And then back up for our single leg calf raises. So bend your left knee, put a little bit of a slight bend in your right knee, and then just up onto the ball of that foot. Think of taking a string and lifting it from the top of your head. So think of a lifting action, really slow and controlled. I'm even wavering around a bit. It's okay, have a little bit of balance issues just get back up and keep going do one more and then back down yeah if you ask any physical therapist single leg movements are really important to help balance out the left and right sides of our body it's a lot of times we're dominant on one side we're either right-handed or we're left-handed so we're unbalanced and that will cause injuries especially lower back injuries. Give me two more right here. And then last one, slow and controlled. And then back to our little ankle nifty stretch that we just learned. Right foot back, top of the foot on the mat, and slight bend in that standing leg. 
you should feel this at the top of your shin or the top of your top of your foot very bottom of your shin and then back and then just slowly rock back and forth keeping it dynamic and giving yourself a nice little stretch in the calf and back to the center now the left leg back behind you top of the foot on the mat and bend the knee for a little bit of weight and then flip over and rock back so this helps if you guys maintain good posture this will really help with a lot of eliminating that lower back pain that you might experience especially with the way we have to hunch and forward and everything's always forward making sure you keep that chest nice and open really important not just when you exercise but all throughout the day and back up to the center so for our next exercise we're doing a little side leg lift so you can do this on your knees or lying on the ground if that's easier for you um, but we're going to do it standing up so put all that weight on your left leg and keep a slight bend in your left knee and then place your hands on your hips and what we're going to do is just take the right leg straight out to the side flex your leg and then slowly raise up and lower so for the make this a little bit easier we're actually just going to place the foot back on the ground but to make it more challenging you can keep that foot lifted off the ground in between each movement slow and controlled give me two more you should feel this in the side of your butt right there and switch sides this is a really nice move for strengthening the glute medius which is a under strengthened muscle typically it's harder to hit so it's sometimes a weaker muscle and if you run and have knee pain sometimes it's because your glute medius isn't strong enough so this is a really good move for that and make sure you keep a soft bend in that standing leg so don't don't lock that knee or you might get dizzy and pass out and then do one more and our stretching it's going to be a simple figure four stretch so you might need a, a chair or a wall to balance take your right knee up over your left or right ankle on your left knee and then hinge back a little bit until you feel the stretch in your right hip and you'll feel that on the outside of your right hip and then come up and switch sides slowly lower down you can do this with one leg look mono hands or on a wall or have a little chair or wiggle around like me and we're gonna do that extra exercise one more time on each side so putting your weight in your left leg and slight slightly bent knee hands on the hips make sure your chest is lifted up and open spine is long and whew, slowly raise and lower that standing leg make sure to keep breathing this is a small movement but really effective you don't need to do a whole lot of movements to target this muscle and one more and switch sides make sure to keep that standing leg bent i find sometimes that i end up locking it because i forget or i'm lazy and then i wonder what that tingling sensation is in my leg and that's locking up circulation and blood flow which we don't want so keep breathing and then really squeeze that glute muscle on the way up and do two more right here and keep a soft bend in that standing leg and slowly come down same stretch again so right ankle over the left knee and sit back a little bit until you feel it should be a nice stretch in your hips and stand up and stretching out this muscle will help relieve some of that 
pulling on the lower back and actually might help relieve some of that lower back pain too. And stand up and breathe. So thank you so much for following along. You guys did a great job. Find out more about me at todayiwillbefit.com and make sure to subscribe to Psyche Truth to check out all my other videos in this series. Also look at the description of this video for the link to that full body workout calendar.